Hello, everybody. How are you? Love you. I am Joanne, and this is Joanne Ralston Art. Welcome to my channel. I'm very happy to have you here. If you're a repeater, thank you, thank you for coming back. I greatly appreciate it. If you're a new person, please like, subscribe, share, and make a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, also, returning people, make sure you like, share, and make a comment. We all got to help each other's channel. Right down, yes, right down there, right down there is a thumbs up button. And that's the button you need to touch or click on and make it go black and approve this video or anybody else's video you watch. If you'd like to watch YouTube, please do these things when you're watching someone's video so it can help their channel grow. There's in YouTube all these weird uh, algorithms, algorithms, whatever, that they follow and each step you get to add something to your channel or do something more on your channel as it goes up and as your sub subscribers go up. So anyway, I've really appreciated all the great comments I've gotten on my past videos. And speaking of which, before I forget, let's get the results of the last two videos. Because I filmed them in the same night, but I posted them, I don't know if I did the same day or not. But anyhow, I was playing with the eye candy pigments. Now, I did see a commercial on Facebook today for the eye candy pigments. And it says, for resining, for candles, and more. So that doesn't delete painting, but we're gonna see. I know, oh, excuse me. <laughs> you don't wanna do that on TV or YouTube. Um, I know of two other formulas that have been used with pigments. Um, one is the one that, oh, her name left my head as fast as it came. Kathy Miller, that Kathy Miller uses. And I have all the products to do that. So I am gonna take maybe three colors and do another video using that pouring medium and then someone else told me that they just use plain old um, Liquitex medium nothing else so I'm going to try that with maybe like three colors and we'll see what it does but anyhow with the first painting we did and that was the blowout um I think I told you in the second video that I had too much paint on and it started running off. But here's that painting. And the colors came out pretty. I wasn't happy with these white spots that came out. They've got these halos around them. And some of them are kind of ugly. But it does have a lot of shimmer. I don't know if you can see the shimmer or not. I'm trying to move it around, so if you can spot it. But the funny thing about it is the way it feels. It's It's got a feeling of almost like plastic. It's just real super smooth and, and soft and slick like plastic but anyway there's that one and then the other video first I did this one 
and it's got some shimmer in it. Let me see if I can get it up closer so you can see it. And I think it turned out nicely. Um, it's got some pretty colors. The lacing did nicely. So there's that one. And I hope you saw the shimmer in that. There's really a lot of shimmer in that lily pad that I like so well. And then in the watermelon that I like so well. It really shows up. But the others, I mean, they all, I mean, they just sparkle. But once again, it's got that real, it's just got a really a different feel to it. Now the last one where we poured the colors on top of each other, this is how it turned out. And it's got shimmer, beautiful colors. And it also has the same texture. So, I mean, it's just real slick. It's, it's funny how it feels, but once again, my favorite showed up real nice, the lily pad. I just love that one. Now, wait a minute. Is that lily? That's not lily pad. Lily pad. I'm stating the wrong colors. That was nebula green. That's the greens in the two, three. Um, I was right on the, on the watermelon. That was the watermelon. Um, I don't know why, oh yes I do. Blue blood that showed up. That's some of the dark. And the lighter, where's the packet for it? I can't find the packet. No, it had to be the blue blood. And then there was a purple, Arteza purple, or Aztec purple. I can't talk tonight. And then there was a rusty and a candy red. I'm getting my piggies and my eye pigments mixed up. But anyway, that one turned out pretty too. So I figured out with these big tiles, I'm gonna take them and glue them four sides together like a cube and put a, just a plain white, paint one white and put it on the bottom, glue it with Gorilla Glue. And then I'm gonna spray the inside with, um, oh, what's that stuff called? Seal something, or something seal. That black rubbery stuff. Spray it inside, they'll hold it all together and waterproof it so you can use it as a planter. And put plants in it. Okay, well, let's get started. The colors tonight, I may or may not use all of them. The first one is this little piggy sangria. And I've got it all mixed up. And I will tell you guys that letting piggies sit for very long and not keeping an eye on them and stirring them periodically. They do get clumps on the bottom. Then when you go scrape the bottom to stir it up, it pulls up a big gummy mess. So I had to go through all these and clean up the gummy mess because I haven't been down here for about three or four days. So I suggest every two to three days Go stir your piggies. Okay, the next one is emerald. 
And this is the emerald. And it's very luscious and pretty. And then the next piggy that I might use is the lemon sorbet. I had to have a lemon in there or a yellow. I just love yellow. I wish they just showed up more in paints. Boy, you can't. That one's hard for you guys to see. Um, and then the last piggy is Comet. And I just want it for some sparkliness. And like I, if anybody watched the video where I showed you these containers, here's what I was talking about. You can peel the dry. I just let the cups dry. And they just, the peeling, it just peels right off. Um, here's a lid. This is the lid of Comet. And there's paint on it. And I just put my fingernail under it. And it peels right off. So, you know, you could wash them afterwards to make sure you got it all, but... When you're done with that paint, you know, scrape out what you can, and then you can just peel out the rest. And that's everything that dried on that lid. So that's why I like those containers. I need to go get some more. 50's not enough. Okay, the other colors are Arteza Pearl by... Yes, by Arteza. I'm sorry. Arteza Pearl P Pistachio Green. Arteza Pearl Royal Purple. Arteza Pearl Electric Blue. And then, of course, our all-time favorite is Deco Art. 24 karat gold. So, let's shake that up a little bit. And we won't need a cell activator. Uh, no. Oh, I might. I have, and we'll see if it's still any good. I took some of Comet, and I just took a spoonful. I may put this Comet in instead of that. But I just took a spoonful and then I added Australian Floetrol to it and it worked as a uh, cell activator. And I just took it straight, a spoonful of my mix and then put a couple spoonfuls of Australian Floetrol in it and it worked. So we'll see if it's still any good. At least it'll show up as Comet. Okay, let's open that up. Let me get a spoon now. How's everybody been doing today? It's evening for me, and I'm gonna have to move you so you can see the canvas. So hold on. You can close your eyes if you want. I need to set you. I have got to get me some photo gear. I have been very fortunate. Nate Bright is going to teach me how to edit when we are at the Fluid Art Boutique in DC. And Heather Mater called me. Is it? yesterday, day before yesterday. We talked a long time. It was very nice. She's a very nice, very nice person. And she's very fortunate. She's getting ready to start art school. And she's excited. But she gave me a lot of pointers on things to do that I need to do 
on my uh, channel to improve it. So it was a tremendous big help. So I really greatly appreciate it, Heather. You don't know what that meant to me. And I can't remember who I just saw this week do a similar pour. And that's what inspired me to do this one. They did it in black, though. Um, let me think. Who was it? Okay, for the bottom, I'm finishing up that pretty green I had that I put on Nate's painting. I still had a little bit of it, so I added some more white to it to give me enough and I probably have enough for another one. Oh, I can't remember who it was that did it. Was it Nikki? That does the pretty designs. Oh, guys, I tell you, my memory is pitiful. I'm going to have to start. I'm going to have to put me a book upstairs where I watch my videos and make notes of inspirations and who did it. Because I think that, you know, I believe like everybody else that the artist that inspired you or that you're doing something like them that they just did or that they created in the very beginning should get the credit for it. And I don't mean not to give them the credit if I ever don't. It's just because I forget. I am very, I have a very big problem with my short-term memory. Okay, we've got that on. Now I'm going to finish up using the rest of that sparkly brown, and I added some more white to it. But I'm noticing that there's stuff in it. And I didn't have time to strain it. So I'm going to strain it this way. Where there's a will, there is a way. Don't ever think you can't do something. Don't let anything get in your way, especially in your art. Do what makes you feel good. This will guarantee I don't have any clumpies. I don't like clumps. As I know, nobody does. Set that over out of the way. I think I got enough paint. So, I have been watching videos all day. I am so far behind. I'm trying to catch up, and I try, uh, you know, I make, my, well, I don't even have to make myself. I just do it. I do a thumbs up for everybody, and I make a comment. Even if it's one word, I make a comment. Um, sometimes I have a lot to say about their piece, and sometimes I just say one word. Like beautiful, gorgeous, fabulous, not dead. Never ever say ugly because I've never seen anybody do an ugly piece. You know, I probably should have just blew this out. It would have probably gone quicker.
And then I've been watching everybody's premieres. The Massey Boys. Oh my word. I'm sure a lot of you watched that. Cracked me up. And poor old Jeremy. He was basically defenseless because he was one the one-armed bandit. That wasn't fair. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna make some noise. There we go. Now when you're gonna do Dutch pours, or blooms, you want your paints to be thin. In other words, you really do not want to see any mounds. Okay, that was a bubble. It's not gunk. And you want to have enough paint on your canvas to let it flow. That was one reason I was just taking my knife, uh, or my stirrer, stirrer, and pushing it around so I would be leaving plenty of paint on there. All right, let's get started. I believe I am going to start with the emerald first. And I'm gonna kinda... I don't want your typical blow. I want burst of color. And I want it to get some more on that edge. I want it to fan out. Okay, then I think I'll go in with the sangria. And you're going to think that I'm putting down a lot of paint, which I am. But we're going to be blowing it on the canvas, and hopefully all these colors will pop out. Um, let's do the electric blue. Just a couple swoops. Here we go. And then I want to do the Arteza Purple, Royal Purple. And let's just go ahead and use them all. Do the Pistachio Green. Sorbet. Let's get some on the back side there. Check, make sure my camera is still running. Yes. Okay, and then we're going to use the comet with the um, <laughs> Australian flow trawl. See, you guys, I just, I can't remember shit. I can't see shit and I can't remember shit. There's probably a lot of other things too. 
Okay, let me back these up so that I don't blow on them, knock them over, and get pain in them. And I'm going to start on the low, pardon the noise, this how that's turning out. And I probably should have put some more white down. So I'm not going to the white. Yeah, I will. Quite get the look I'm looking for. There we go. Oh, there's still more paint there. Oh, I like this. I like it, I like it, I like it. Do you see the look I was looking for? I want the little dangles, <laughs> the little finger thingies. What do you call them? Somebody tell me in the comments what they're called. I don't, you know, I didn't want them to look like they had a bunch of edges. I wanted them to look like they had little fingerlings sticking out. He spit on it. I'm not going to touch that because I'm afraid it'll mess up. And it's kind of a cute little thing. What do you think, guys? 
I really think that made some awesome colors in there. Let's blow it with the torch. And that brownish paint, <coughs> it's really, it, here it looks purplish. And this looks more white. Okay. There you have it. Let me know in the comments what you think. I really think it's pretty. But don't forget, let me put you back up here. Let's see if I can. Don't forget, like. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. Last I looked, I was up to 73 subscribers, and I was thrilled. <laughs> All these other people that are like 1.K, but, you know, just 73 little old me. But I'm getting there. I'm learning, and I'm on a wonderful journey. I'm enjoying it. It's, it's lots of fun. The people I'm meeting, it's wonderful. And I'm having a great time. So, if you're thinking about starting this and you like art, jump in. It's, it's, looks easy, but it's a little complicated. So, study formulas, consistencies, techniques find the technique that's yours that you like the most um, and go for it and just keep plugging away till you got it down pat so everybody have a wonderful day enjoy the upcoming weekend we're on hump day tomorrow which will probably be the day you see this so happy happy hump day everybody have a good one Love you. Take care. Take care of each other. Bye.